الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه وأهل بيته أجمعين وبعض فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear brothers in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today's topic of mine is Severity of killing a Muslim I have already spoken on the topic A Muslim can't kill a Muslim Today I will recite one ayah of the glorious Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَنْ يَقْتُ الْمُؤْمِنَ مُتَعَمِّدًا فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّمُ خَالِدًا فِيهَا فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّمُ خَالِدًا فِيهَا وَغَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَعَنَهُ وَغَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَعَنَهُ وَأَعَدَّ لَهُ عَذَابًا عَظِيمًا But whosoever kills a believer intentionally, his recompense is hell, wherein he will abide internally and Allah has become angry with him and has cursed him. and has prepared for him a great punishment. This is Surah An-Nisa, Surah number 4, Ayah number 93. The translation of this ayah clearly tells that if a Muslim kills a Muslim, his punishment is nothing but hell. It means that if a Muslim kills a Muslim, an innocent Muslim, a Muslim who didn't murder anybody, who didn't create mischief in the land, he is not wajib al-qatl as per the Islamic Sharia, but this Muslim kills him and he considers that it is lawful for him to kill him, then his punishment is nothing but hell. The ayah is so clear and so small that every Muslim can recite it time and again and can make him understand. I would prefer to recite this ayah time and again so that you can also learn that You can understand that. You can spread that. وَمَنْ يَقْتُ الْمُؤْمِنَ مُتَعَمِّدًا فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّمُ خَالِدًا فِيهَا فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّمُ خَالِدًا فِيهَا وَغَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَغَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَنَعَنَهُ وَأَعَدَّ لَهُ عَذَابًا عَظِيمًا وَمَنْ يَقْتُلْ مُؤْمِنًا مُتَعْمِدًا فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّمُ خَالِدًا فِيهَا وَغَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَنَعَنَهُ وَأَعَدَّ لَهُ عَذَابًا عَظِيمًا But whosoever kills a believer intentionally, his recompense is hell, wherein he will abide eternally, and Allah has become angry with him, and has cursed him, and has prepared for him a great punishment. My dear brothers in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has stated his punishment. Many punishments, great punishments in several bad works, evils. But the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the punishment of killing any innocent Muslim is very different. First of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, 
فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَلَّمْ His recompense, his punishment is Jahannam. That was enough for a believer to understand the severity of killing an innocent Muslim. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as his mercy and grace added one more word this killer, this murderer of an innocent Muslim will be in Jahannam in hell forever. After that, and Allah has become angry with him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is angry, therefore he is sending him in Jahannam, in hell. That is already understood. But to exaggerate in the anger, in his wrath, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using an entirely different words, a separate sentence. وَغَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ And Allah has become angry with him. وَلَعَنَهُ Again, after that, and he has cursed him. It is the Muslim who kills a Muslim without any crime which deserves killing punishment. This Muslim will encounter the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then again, And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for him a great punishment. In the light of this ayah, I would request every Muslim, please, 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 thousand times, please, avoid killing Muslims. Never be involved in the murder of any innocent Muslim by any way, because the glorious Quran is clear. Alamai Ummat have stated here. That if a Muslim kills a Muslim, an innocent Muslim, and he understands that it is lawful for him to kill him, unanimously, all the Anima Umba say that he will be in Jahannam forever because of the murder he got out of Iman because he made it, he understood it lawful for him. That's clear. If a Muslim kills a Muslim, it is wrong. Its punishment is severe. It will be long, long, long. But if he doesn't understand that it is his law, it is his right, and it is lawful for him, he doesn't consider it halal for him to kill an innocent Muslim, then he will be in Jahannam for long periods, but he will not come out of Iman. His faith will remain with him. However, the entire Ummah, ulama Ummah say that its punishment will be severe, and it will be for a long period. Then, how can we dear? How can we be involved in the murder of any Muslim? Today, the matter of great concern is that some of us sometimes kill Muslims and they do the action which shows that they understand that it is lawful for them to kill them. This point is very, very, very dangerous. That a Muslim kills a Muslim and he understands that it is lawful for him. He kills an innocent Muslim and he understands that it is halal for him to kill him. Today, unfortunately, sometimes it happens that we witness that in some particular parts of the world, 
Muslims, kill Muslims as they think that they are doing ibadah, as they think that they are following the orders of Islam. That's very dangerous part of our life. That is the point. We should understand that. If we are doing so, we should immediately stop, shun from this action. Because the action which is done and not understood lawful, halal, it's less severe than the action which is done and understood halal. If we kill a Muslim and we understand that it is lawful, then may Allah protect. We will be out of Islam. I would prefer to present here one blessed Mubarak piece of hadith. The beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, قتل المؤمن أعظم عند الله من زوال الدنيا قتل المؤمن أعظم عند الله من زوال الدنيا قتل المؤمن أعظم عند الله من زوال الدنيا Killing a believer is more grievous before Allah than the extinction of the whole world this hadith is Sahih Hadith. The book name is Nasai, the book of fighting, the prohibition of bloodshed, hadith number 3988. What a great verse our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has used. That's the manner of a Muslim single believer is equal to destroy the entire world. Just imagine, think what happens today if a person demolishes one building, if a person destroys a particular part of his house, what a serious sight is, what a bad it is, people how feel. The beloved Prophet is saying that if someone kills a Muslim, a believer, an innocent believer, he is as great criminal as he would have destroyed the entire world. My dear brothers, Islam, isn't it the point to think? Isn't it a stopping point? We are Muslims and we love Islam. But because of the misapprehension, because of the misunderstanding, we do the things due to which sometimes we go out of Islam and do the work for which we will never be ready. And killing a Muslim is the worst work which a Muslim may do. Alama Ummah have stated that killing any person, any innocent person, is the second worst work after shirk and Muslims today may Allah protect happen to kill their own brothers how can we imagine this work we can imagine may Allah protect if we don't know the severity or we are ready may Allah protect thousand times I'm using that may Allah protect if we are not ready to go in Jannah we are not ready to take the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have taken battle against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet. I would request all of you to please learn this very important ayah. Every ayah is important. In this regard, this ayah is very important. وَمَن يَقْتُلْ مُؤْمِنًا 
فَجَزَاؤُهُ جَهَنَّبُ خَالِدًا فِيهَا وَغَضِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَعَنَهُ وَأَعَدَّ لَهُ عَذَابًا عَظِيمًا Then this hadith قتل المؤمن أعظم عند الله من زوار الدنيا May Allah give us tawfiq to avoid any action which may cause the destruction of any human life especially any believer